hey traders hope you all having an awesome weekend so a weekend update here for you and something valuable to learn so that it can improve your trading psychology and you can able to take some efficient trading decision so that is why over the weekend i want to give you something valuable to learn so that you can avoid some mistakes so before i continue i have three announcement to make number one i still remember that i promised that i'll be doing live sessions for members i'm still working on that but for that i'm i'm building a separate website and i'll have one more member in my team so that you can keep updated with the market analysis throughout the day so it's going to be live sessions every day sometime it's going to be twice a day and sometime three to four times in a week so it's going to be an awesome service where you will be informed with the market moves every single day and i'll be also in the trading room to answer you any questions so so it's still on the cards hopefully i'll be launching that next year early in january the second thing is that i got lots of requests from members from traders that they want to learn how to mark support and resistance these area of value now let me tell you something i have six to seven lessons in my course just for how to mark the support and resistance zones and it is also in the advanced section of my course it is not something that is very easy and that you can understand in a single video there are different rules and there are different way of of ranking these zones major zones minor zones a good level or a bad level now i'll still going to make one video for that very soon hopefully this month and i'll give you some basics how to mark the support and resistance zones and how to tell that if the support and resistance zones will be broken or we can get a very very good reaction out of that which i'm going to make this month soon and as you know you have already seen me if you follow me from a couple of years you know how nicely my zones reacts when the price gets to my level but again we don't enter blindly we look for the conditions number 3 talking about fundamentals i got this question asked a lot that oh why don't you talk about fundamentals now i'm a technical trader i do look at fundamentals and i've already made a video which is my previous video so if you want to check that out just look at the previous video from this one where i've explained how to read some news events of natural gas especially when there is storage report release how the market reacts when the report release and how you can possibly trade on that i've made a complete and detailed video which is my previous video i'm going to put a link in the description where i've explained how you can trade in combination of fundamentals and technical analysis and how to read the news and then we're going to go through our analysis starting with natural gas gold silver crude oil i'm also going to go through one forex pair which is usd japanese yen so in the first part of the video i'm going to talk about the zones i've sent to the members the trades we took losing trades winning trades how we enter the trades using this area of value or how we enter the trades if the price is in between the area of value and some mistakes to avoid now starting with the losing trades i had in the priority group now sending you the trade alert if you are a member that doesn't mean that you rely on that completely it means that you look at the patterns i send you the look at the description i send you and look for the other pairs and look and find the exact entry pattern i send you to take your trades now i'm going to show you the losing trades first and then i'm going to show you the winning trades using the exact same method i sent you in the priority group or i talk about in my youtube videos now talking about this trade this was a nice trending market a japanese yen i took some nice badass trades out of that i took this trade which was my aggressive entry and then i took another trade which was my double bottom entry condition that was sent in the priority group as well last week not this week a week before that and that was a winning trade i managed it to 170 pips and before that i took this trade which was 208 pips in profit now after taking these good winning trades feeling you get is euphoria means you think that you're going to conquer the market and you won't be getting any losing trades and what happens you place all your money in the third trade if you get a signal let's say a signal to buy now after two winning trades i had a signal a nice trending market and all i was looking at pullback trades means if the price is trading between the zones and if it's trading above 50 ema i look for buy trades only in that case the price was above 50 ema and 20 ema as well and we had a pullback after that and that pullback happened above 50 ema so what i was looking at just buying trades so with this pullback it forms a bullish engulfing pattern it's also a pin bar so it was an added confidence for me to enter this trade and sent to the members as well now i enter this trade with that that hit my stop loss quickly now that doesn't mean 
that I start to do revenge trading. Of course, you feel bad, but if you blow up your account after two winning trades, you say, let's put everything, let's risk everything and get rich quickly and make money as quick as possible. That's not a case. Treat your trading as a business. Otherwise, you will just lose money. So be disciplined. Discipline is very important. Now, after the two winning trade, I was out. Now, imagine not placing your stop loss there. That was a big waterfall of red candle. And imagine after the stop loss price pushed lower, more than 200 pips. Actually, it's around 300 pips. Now, imagine after these two winning trades, you made 170 pips here, you made 200 pips here, so you made more than 300 pips profit. Now, if you have no stop loss here, you would have lost everything which you have made here in this winning trade and this winning trade. So that is why it is very important. Keep your stop loss there, get maximum profits, but take minimum losses. That is how you make the money. Now, after this losing trade, what happens? I had another losing trade, which is Euro USD. Now, right here, I've already sent these zones to my members that I'll be looking to enter my buy trades. Now, we had a double bottom pattern right here on one hour time frame. We had a condition and the price immediately pushed lower, hitting our stop loss. Now, the stop loss was 28 pips. That's totally cool. So, two losing trades in a row. Did I, did I get panic? No, I didn't because I know that. I knew that I'm going to get another trade and I know that my strategy is tested strategy and if I don't blow up my account here in two trades and I don't go out and do a revenge trading or just move my stop loss further, I can get a chance to take another trade. And what happens after that? The zone was already sent to the members as you can see right here. I've already informed the members that I'll be looking to enter from this green zone for the possible long trades on smaller time frame. So if my stop loss is hit on one hour time frame, what I have found, I have found an other entry pattern, which is my aggressive entry on four hour time frame. What do we have? A swing low bullish engulfing pattern. Now, if you are a member, you have received this type of trade alerts, exact similar pattern where I've shown you this candlestick pattern called an aggressive entry. And if you're learning from that, after this losing trade, you could have entered a winning trade. You already know the zones and then you already know that this is one of my entry condition. Then what is stopping you to enter this trade? And right here, the price pushed up 48 pips. That was 1.4 to 1 risk to reward ratio because I've entered right here when the price pulled back. I got a chance to enter a little bit lower than the entry candle, but that's why I got a better risk to reward ratio and that hit my take profit of 48 pips. Now, after two losing to it, I finally had a winning trade. Now, if I blow up my account, I wouldn't be able to enter this trade. Instead, I'll be looking at the market and won't be able to do anything. So make sure you have your capital there so that you can able to take next trade without blowing up your account and be disciplined, be calm. Losing trades happen. But if your strategies are tested, trust me, guys, you come out profitable in the end. Now, the reason I show you these trades, the losing and winning trades so that you understand trading more efficiently you understand that in trading you get losses and you get winners but I, every week i come and show you the exact examples i try to teach you on the youtube videos so that you would understand and you know that these entry patterns are not alien for you you have seen me talking about this pattern every single day now after that I have a very interesting pair that was sent to the members, which is right here. Now, I had a nice U-turn, a winning trade from buy and the winning trade from sell. How nicely we had our rules met and how nicely the entry patterns happened and how nicely we took this trade and made some insane amount of pips here. Let me show you the zones I've sent to the members. Right here. So as you can see, the zone was sent to the members that I'll be looking at these two area of value. One is a level of resistance, which is right here. If the price pulls back to my level of resistance and give me a reason to enter, I will take my short trade. And the price was already in the zone, which is a level of support at that time when I sent the report. I've already mentioned that the price has hit the level of support. And now I'm looking for a valid entry on smaller time frame so those the zone was sent the price was somewhere here and what happened after that we had a price forms a nice bullish engulfing candle on four hour time frame so zone was sent on a daily time frame entry happened on four hour time frame i entered here and as you can see i've gone one to one risk to reward ratio because we had a zone above and right here one 110 
pips take profit has been hit and if i would have gone 1.4 to 1 that also could have hit my take profit nicely and right here but i just chose to go one to one for this trade specifically because we had a zone above from where we were paying attention to take our sell trade as you can see right here the zone the price was approaching that level of resistance after that what do we have we had a nice bearish engulfing pattern right there that happens below 50 EMA and confluence and that happens in the area of value from where we are waiting for the price to form some sort of conditions to take over trades now this condition happened this was a trade I managed till 1.421 and took a nice take profit of 162 pips easily I made money right here now tell me those two losing trades I've shown you after these nice winning trades you wouldn't even bother about those losses because you will be proud of yourself that you've been disciplined and you waited for nice entry and you waited for the conditions you followed your rules and and in the end you came out profitable after taking these two trades waiting with patience entered with conditions right here and right here both were a winning trade how nicely from the both zones I've sent the price reacted insanely and made some good amount of pips now we have another trade winning trade right here I want to show you very quickly pullback entries that happens below 50 EMA in a nice trending market and what happens if the price is trading below 50 EMA of course we're going to go look for sell trades now I did not manage this trade because the price was already trading so lower in the RSI as well that is why I did not want to manage this trade all I want to take my profits according to my stops and target rules and that was exactly 22 pips according to the ATR according to the way I personally take my targets that hit my take profit barely hit my take profits and the price pushes higher right here another trade Eurocat also pushed lower I could have did not manage this trade because this was my entry candle trading below 50 EMA exact same condition I've shown you and that was nice 44 pips take profit hit I did not manage it again because the price was trading so lower that I did not want to manage this trade and as you can see the price still pushed lower 82 pips after that as well but again this was the pullback entry I just chose to enter one to one for this trade yes if I, I would have entered somewhere here I would have managed my trade till here that would be a different scenario for now I'll be looking for my counter trades from the zone below in green now I'm going to show you a few commodities here as well now the first one we have that was sent to the members on 3rd of December which was this week now for the goal I've already informed my members that I'm expecting a very very big pullback from here as you can see here I've already mentioned that th the price is currently inside of a major level of resistance at this point the price was somewhere here and also made an all time high and I'm expecting a very good breather out of the price which can be a big pullback as you can see after that how nicely the price pushed lower from the zone yes it did pushed up massively with this wick but again that was not an entry condition for me there was nothing it pushed up I've waited for the price to come give me some sort of reason which we did not get but we had a good pullback from the zone around 71 dollars more than that so that is how you look for the condition you look for the zones and now prices inside the trend continuation zone from where we can expect a possible bounce now which we're going to talk about in the analysis part of the video so how nicely we waited for this level but we did not get a condition so that is why I did not enter this trade after that we had silver now for silver the zone was sent to the members last week at the beginning of the week that I am now paying attention for the silver to give us some sort of entry condition on four hour or one hour time frame from the area of value and at that time the price was somewhere here and as you can see on four hour time frame when the price hit my zone that was mentioned in the report how nicely the price formed a 382 candle that was my bullish condition sorry bearish condition and how nicely the price falls from here and that was a zone below we were paying attention to take some possible buy trade but remember if there is no conditions we are not going to enter our trade no condition here and no condition at the minor area of value and next one we're going to look at which is right here which we want to talk about in the analysis part of the video for now I just want to show you how nicely the zones reacted and how nicely the patients paid off if you enter at the right time and of course exit at the right time as well and then we had net gas of course we were waiting for the price to give us a possible bounce out of natural gas which we already got again like I mentioned that from this area of value when the price is pushing lower in a downtrend all we were looking at a possible bounce that is enough to hit your target and as you can see the price pushed up more than 2 ATR that is enough to hit our profit and then the price pushes lower that is why very important to keep your stop loss take profit both so that you can take your money or you manage your trades so that you won't lose anything if the price goes against you so this is what I'm going to talk about in the analysis part of the video where we're going to do detailed analysis 
and then we have other commodities where we are still waiting for the price to get to the zones to take our possible trades which i'm going to talk about in the next weekend video possibly if the price gets to the level same with the forex we are still waiting for the price to come to the zones in areas which i can't mention this week as we are still waiting for the price to get to those levels so that's all i want to talk about in the first part of the video i hope that gave you value and i hope you have learned something out of it and i hope you understand the importance of placing your stop loss and take profit at the right time and exit your trade at the right time and take your losses as well if the price goes against you if you got a value please don't forget to hit a like button for me let's start our analysis starting with natural gas i'm going to go through gold silver crude oil and usd japanese yen as well starting with natural gas so as you can see the price is now pushing lower broke below the zones i have mentioned in my last video and pull back up to 50% retracement and 25% retracement which is my buffer zone if you follow me from a couple of years you know that the 50% to 25% retracement is my buffer zone from where i'm expecting some nice push down if we have rejection now we had few rejections here as you can see right here with the wicks with the price failed to push higher and also below 20 EMA and 50 EMA as well. Now, if you're an aggressive trader, your aggressive entry would have been hit and targets can be 1 ATR or if you want to manage it, it can be 1.618 retracement. But for me, I want to look for a less aggressive entry. Now, which is a bearish engulfing candle. Now, it is a bearish engulfing candle that is right, but that invalidates one of my rule to take my pullback entry or aggressive entry as well. So that is why I'm not taking this as my entry so what i'll be looking at i'm going to give you two conditions for your entries number one if the price pushes higher below 50 ema i want to see the price to push higher for a valid entry from this previous high once that happens i'll start to look for a rejection maybe at 50 ema or below 50 ema this doesn't matter it must be below 50 ema if you have a pullback followed by bearish engulfing candle below 50 ema i'm going to take sell trades using one atr for my target which is the number right up there and I will manage it accordingly. You can go 2 ATR or 1.5 ATR is totally up to you. So that's what I'll be looking at. This is the one condition. The second condition, if you have no condition here and the price just pushes lower from here or maybe you opened gap down or gap up. In that case, I want to see a complete break and close below this low. If that happens, then I want to see a pullback again, followed by bearish in golfer. In that case, we will also get a minor double top pattern or a valid pullback entry. If we broke below this low, then we want to see a pullback followed by bearish engulfing pattern. If you see the price is trading low and may keeps on making lower lows right here, as you can see, the price push up. Since the price is trading below 50 EMA, we are getting price made new lower low, a pullback, and then a new lower low, and then a new low, a pullback and then a new low and in that process price is just retesting the previous levels right here use the previous level as a resistance right here and then pushes lower and then a pullback again use the same level and then pushes lower a pullback right here another level which price used as a level of resistance and it might push lower and then pull back up to push lower again so all i'm looking at sell trades only not looking for buy conditions as long as we are trading below 50 EMA and trading below this zone. The next buy trade will be only if the price gets to the zone below. If we have a dramatic push, though, push down, which is 1.924, that goes up to 2.046. A very massive, a good level to take your counter trades and a possible reversal from this area of value. Now, for me to use the zone above as my trend continuation zone, I want to see a good momentum below this zone as you can see we don't have we do not have a good momentum below the zone we only had a wicks right here for me to use the zone above as my trend continuation zone bearish i want to see a very good momentum below this zone a good red candle that must close below and in the, after that i want to use my zone as my trend continuation zone bearish to use this as my entries on four hour time frame which can be a possible bearish engulfing pattern and keep on taking shots and use my zone as for my aggressive entry bearish so for now all i'm looking at the condition i've explained not a valid entry here i want to see a pullback bearish in golfer and keep on taking shots till i see a condition to take my short trade or if your price does open below or pushes lower without giving you any reason to enter here after that i want to see a pullback retest bearish in golfer and keep on taking shots and if you have a dramatic push up let's say if the price open above in gap above 50 ema only then I'll start to look for my bullish trades for now. 
only bearish trades with a pullback only or with the Fibonacci tool I've already explained to you which is something like this we are now in a buffer zone and we can get a possible push down from here now I'm going to give you the zones here on capital.com and on Nemex as well in case you are trading on these platforms rest the conditions are exactly the same all we want to see a pullback below 50 EMA with bearish engulfing crypt pattern and keep on taking sell trades for now on this platform this is the condition i'm only looking at it is not a valid bearish engulfer as you can see the price or a candle open below the previous green candle it must be fully engulfing candle if you want to use this as a valid engulfing pattern it is not a valid entry as well in case you are wondering for me for the next trade will be a pullback below 50 ema with bearish engulfer or if you have a break below this low in that after that i want to see a pullback again followed by bearish engulfer and keep on taking shots and if the price dramatically falls a zone below which i want to change in green it is 2.110 goes up to 2.234 from where we're going to look for a next buy counter trades with bullish engulfers double bottom or hammer candle three year two candle whatever you want to call it so keep an eye these are the conditions i'll be looking at to use this zone as my trend continuation zone bearish i want to see a complete break and close below this zone with a good momentum to use this zone as my trend continuation zone bearish that can push the price lower with entry conditions right here on nemex all i'm looking at the conditions i've already mentioned keep looking for that the next zone to take your buy trades is below right here which is 2.056 goes up to 2.207 from where we're going to enter our buy trade for now just looking for pullback entries bearish below 50 ema and keep on taking shots next buy trade will be from here or if above 50 ema only next one we have gold gold is now inside a level of trend continuation zone bullish which is 1980.26 goes to 2006.86 now this is a zone from where i'm now actively looking for buy trades which is bullish engulfing pattern which is not this one all i want to see a push down within the zone followed by bullish engulfing pattern once we have that we are good to go long or i want to see a double bottom entry condition within the zone once we have that we are good to go long stop loss below take profit wherever you want to take it so these are the conditions i'll be looking at from this area on four hour for aggressive entry and one hour as well which i want to see for my double bottom trades if you have a push up push down double bottom pattern in that case i will still go long and use one atr for my stops and target only keep an eye not looking for any sell trades till the price is inside this area of value or completely broken below this zone or if you have a good momentum below only then i start to look for my pullback trades bearish keep it ahead these are the conditions i'll be looking at for my buy trades only then we have silver silver is pushing lower heading towards a next level of support which is not a big level so i want to remove this level minor level right here i'm not going to pay attention to this level i just want to i want my charts to be very clean support which is right here that has been tested multiple times as a support and resistance both in the past so that is why i'll be looking to enter my buy trades not a very big push up but a bounce that is enough to hit your target before the price will continue to push lower towards the major level of resistance which is right here in green for now have these zones ready on your charts which is 22.25 goes to 22.57 from where i will look into enter my buy trades with bullish engulfers double bottoms hammer candle three year two candle whatever you want to call it all these are my bullish conditions once the price gets to this zone i'll start to look for my buy trades for now all i'm looking at pullbacks which is very likely a big big pullback followed by bearish engulfer if we have that something like this i'm going to go short till the price gets to my zone for my buy trades all i'm looking at bearish trade with a pullback with the bearish conditions only then we have crude oil is now pushing lower and if you remember in my last video i've mentioned that i will look in for for aggressive entry this will be your sell limit order and target will be one atr initially and as you can see after hitting the 50 percent retracement price push lower 1.8 dollar atr of this candle is one dollar so you have, your target would have been hit more than one dollar which is 1.8 dollar and that is good amount of money with this type of move after that the price pushes if you are managing this trade then that would be out in break even if you have placed your stops and target support for now i'm still not bullish we can get a possible pullback to the zone above which i mentioned in my earlier videos which is 71.95 goes up to 74.26 we can get a possible bearish engulfing candle that will be my sell signal or we can get a possible double top pattern for my sell signal all i'm looking at pullback bearish engulfer below 50 ema that can happen at the zone above or below 50 ema anywhere all i'm looking at sell conditions only if you have a dramatic push lower the zone below 66.00 goes up to 67.85 as one from where i want to enter my buy trades with bullish engulfers or double bottoms hammer candle or three year two candles only keep an eye these are the conditions i'll be looking at for crude oil only looking for sell trades till the price gets to my zone here or if you have dramatic push up above 50 ema 
So last one we have USD Japanese yen has broken below pushed down hard and I've already sent these zones to my members to look for buy trades if the price gets to my level form some sort of conditions. Now a very good example here to be disciplined. Now if you don't follow your rules if you just enter your trade just by seeing a price is now inside the zone that would be a lot of loss and that would be a lot of stress. That is why I always stress that look for the condition when the price is inside the area of value. Just being inside the area of value doesn't mean that price is definitely going to push up. We want to see a buy signal or a sell signal from the area of value above. A good example of double top trade here. We have no signal here so there is no reason to enter here. Now instead I'll be using this zone as my trend continuation zone bearish which is 144.61 goes to 145.56 now the price is inside the zone all i'm looking at sell trade if you have a push up bearish engulfing candle in that case i will go short and i will use one to two atr for my stops and targets so keep an eye ahead. this is the zone from where i will look into enter my sell trades only if you get a condition or if the price broke above hit 50 ema or it is below 50 ema forms bearish engulfing pattern i will still go short use one atr for my target all i'm looking at for sell trades not looking for buy trades at this point as long as we are below the zone and below 50 ema all i'm looking at for my sell conditions only the next buy counter trades will be from the zone below which i'm going to mention in my upcoming video so that's it for commodities and forex hope you're getting value if yes please hit a like button for me it really helps me in a youtube algorithm hope you trade green rest of the week have an awesome weekend take care